Hello everyone. I just got over to the gym and I figured I would make a quick video because I'm trying to be a little bit more consistent over here and try to get more videos put out as much as possible, especially because that I'm trying to plan for a very long trip. So if there's ads on this video, please consider watching them so that way I could get out of here. Please, I'm begging you. Anyway, that's kind of the theme of what I wanted to talk about real quick, which is just being back home and just feeling the way that I have been feeling since I've left Florida. I did not want to leave Florida, obviously. Like, I don't think anyone's surprised there. I did not want to leave. And it's not because of, like, parks and other things like that. It's more or less that it's an opportunity that I had been passing up way too often, and I wish that I didn't, and I really need to figure out how to not pass up that opportunity. I have lived here for so damn long in the same area, for about 25 years, actually. And I've known people who have lived here for their entire life. Like, they've lived here so long that the streets are named after them at this point. And I've really thought about it, and I'm like, I don't want to be like that. I've got to explore and see new things and it, and enjoy the things that life has been handing me instead of just putting it off every single time like I had been. I did stay down in Florida two times in 2018, but because I was a young 20-year-old and I thought that it wasn't the best place for me at the time or whatever the case may be, I decided to come back. And also, like I said, I've come back because of family and all this other stuff. And and I've gotten older and I've realized this is not the place for me. And I think that it's a good thing for people to also understand that too. Like you live in the exact same place for so long and you think that you know it real well and you don't want to leave because everything is here. Everything that you would want would be in the place that you are living in. And for some people that does work. For me, however, it doesn't. And I think that there's a lot of people that it doesn't work for either. There's a lot of people that have been very miserable or have been living in places that have been making them miserable because they think that that's the only place that they will ever just amount to anything. They don't want to leave because they have the job that they want or they think that they want and it's making them money and they're just wanting to live in a boring, bland old place, kind of like where I am right now. It's dark and gloomy and rainy outside. It's full of construction and big industrial sized buildings and stuff. And every time that I just come over here, I just get drained. Like I was depressed all day yesterday. And that's the reason why like I hadn't really been doing too much except for posting my Florida vlog. And my main takeaway here is I think people should branch out and leave where they are the most comfortable. Because you never know if you find that one place that would make you the most comfortable unless you actually get out there and you go see it for yourself. I thought that where I live now was the best place in the world. I knew everything. I knew all the streets. I knew where to go. I know all the attractions, I guess you could say. But that's far from what I should be thinking about this place because, yes, I know where everything is, but it's not the place that I can really call home anymore. They're building so many big buildings and they're bringing a lot of corporate people over here and they're wanting to make this place the most corporate area possible because of just the atmosphere and what, where everything is around here. I'll, I'll try to explain more of that whenever I leave, but I don't want to say too much because I don't want people knowing where I'm at and then bothering me while I'm in a place that I'm not happy to be at. But it, it's building up to where they're pushing out the old and coming in with the new. Farms are getting destroyed. People are getting moved out of their homes. They want to expand highways and interstates and stuff here. And people are losing their property or their homes because they're buying it all out. And they want this place to be a big metropolis. But that's not what this place is. This is a farmland. This is, this is country. This is a country area. This is not an area that is supposed to be filled with industrial plants and different home offices and stuff like that and people are trying to beautify it and make it look like California but I hate to tell you I'm not in California so this does not work here <laughs> but all in all what I would like to say is is people need to branch out people need to go to different places and find what is actually good for them you don't know if the place that you're living at is going to be your forever home and that's why the people need to move around and figure that out I don't even know if Florida is going to be my forever home, to be honest. 
but it is something that I think if I go over there, maybe I can start a life for myself and do an actual life, not living in a goddamn shed, but I can actually have a actual life for myself and for my dog and I can build up what I've been needing to build up for many years. Sitting here, it's not going to do it. I'm wasting my life with a nine to five job that I'm miserable at and sure, I make decent money at it. I make $19 an hour, it's not that big of a deal, but it's not fulfilling. It's not something that I'm happy with. Because you know what I get to do with that? I get to save that and then just sit at home. Sure, I could go camping. Sure, I can, you know, go to fancy restaurants and stuff like that. But, I mean, there's not really fancy restaurants around here. That's the other thing, too. Down in Florida, there's at least variety whenever it comes to restaurants. And, of course, they sell, like, all the fatty stuff, the burgers, the french fries, the mac and cheese. But they also have the good seafood, which is actually good down there compared to here where they're like, oh yeah, we got seafood, we imported it from China, but it tastes like ass because we have it frozen and it's disgusting. No, we need fresh seafood. Fresh seafood is the way to go, I promise you. <laughs> but yeah, just branch out. See, see what's new out there. I know that there's a lot of y'all who, well, there's also a lot of young ones of you who th are probably thinking like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm going to get out of high school or I'm going to get out of college or I'm going to travel the world and this and that and then you never do because you're more comfortable at home. But what I say is go travel, see the world, see something different. If you want to go to Colorado because you know that the weed is good there, then go to Colorado and get the weed. If you want to go to California because you love the beaches and you love seeing movie stars, you go to California. If you want to go to New Mexico because you like the desert and the flatland and you love seeing the canyons and stuff, go to New Mexico. For me, I love Florida. I love the beaches. I love the amusement parks. I love that I have family that's there. And I love the atmosphere there. I don't have to be concerned about sitting in a parking lot recording from my phone and being afraid if someone's going to see me record and be like, what you doing over there? It's miserable. So, anyway... That's just my thought on it, and I hope that someone at least gets a good takeaway from it. If you want to go and travel the world, go do it, because I promise you, you are going to regret it if you sit there and you say to yourself, I want to go travel the world, and then you never do it. Go travel the world. Go get, see something new. Go and enjoy life. You need it. Everybody needs it. Don't just sit there at home all day and waste your time on the computer. Get out and see something. You'll be happier if you do it. I promise.